today I'm reviewing the Good Molecules Glycolic Exfoliating Toner. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time to sponsor as a video, so if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsb.com, join Patreon community, or click on the links below. And really quick, I've got a Beanie Baby for Susan, a little anteater possum maybe? Aardvark? Anteater aardvark possum combo. It's really cute though. Very fashionable. I like the gray and black. Those are my favorite colors. So there we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. So I did a first impressions on this uh, a while ago, but now I thought it's time to give it a good review. Um, so Good Molecules uh, says, reveal smooth glowing skin with this gentle glycolic exfoliating toner from Good Molecules. And I'll do a pH test in a minute. Uh, my first criteria is packaging. No issues with the packaging. Glass bottle, recyclable, awesome. Um, no issues with that, and it's opaque. Uh, there's no denatured types of alcohol. There's also no fragrance in here. Uh, this is made in Korea, so no issues with that. Ease of use. So they recommend dispensing a few drops into your hands and patting it on, or use a cotton pad. I recommend using a cotton pad with a toner this liquidy. It's just easier, and then you avoid like dripping into your eye area or your mouth area. It's just a little bit easier to control where you're applying it with a cotton pad. Um, Definitely do this after cleansing, before serums and moisturizers. Uh, use SPF during the day while you're using this product. You should use it anyway, but especially when you're using exfoliant. Um, so absorbs quickly, plays well with other products. Uh, the first few times, if you're sensitive, you might notice a little bit of tingling or if you're newer to exfoliants, uh, but no issues with that. I'll do a quick pH test. And then if you're new to exfoliants, start using this maybe every other day and work your way up uh, to using it nightly or however your routine allows. So I'll do a quick pH test. So the pH of this one, I would say is just below four, maybe like three and a half. I'm guessing Good Molecules has it written down. They do, they said 3.5% on their website and that looks about in line where it is on my uh, test strip. So uh, let's get to antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. So we've got um, glycolic acid, obviously. Um, gold standard, alpha hydroxy acid, exfoliating ingredient. It helps uh, remove dead skin cells, helps fade hyperpigmentation, brightens skin up, um, very pH dependent. And the pH with this appears to be 3.5. And I think they mentioned this is 3.5% glycolic acid in here. So, um, so there we go. So a good exfoliating ingredient. Then we've got Galactomyces ferment, which is a hydrating ferment, uh, has brightening properties as well as antioxidant benefits. Then we've got salicylic acid in here, which is a beta hydroxy acid. It's great for acne prone skin and oily skin. Um, also has some skin soothing benefits, um, but great for blackhead prone, acne prone, oily skin. Although I have a feeling the salicylic acid in here is not a huge amount based on where it is in the ingredient list, but uh, then we've also got aloe, great hydrating, soothing ingredient, niacinamide, great skin brightening ingredient, barrier repair, anti-acne, antioxidant. Although uh, someone mentioned a few days ago, they're starting to notice niacinamide is showing up in everything. It's kind of starting to be like hyaluronic acid where they throw niacinamide to almost everything because it's good, but some people are very sensitive to it, so... Uh, then we've got Tricholoma Matsukataki extract, which is a mushroom with skin conditioning ingredients. We've got Cicer seed extract, a good skin conditioning ingredient. We've got Chrysanthemum leaf extract, which is a good soothing skin protecting ingredient. And then, of course, we've got hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronate, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. Got all three of them in here and niacinamide. So there we go. I do want to mention, if you are thinking about picking this up, uh, new L'Oreal, 5% pure glycolic toner. Highly recommend getting this one instead. The pH of this one is a lot higher than it needs to be and should be for this to really do much exfoliating. And this one is also, I think, a lot more expensive. So if you're thinking about picking this one up, go with this one instead. So yeah, so anyway, thought I'd mention that. Although this one does have two ounces more, it's kind of worthless anyway. Okay, in terms of, this one's also cruelty-free and vegan, whereas the L'Oreal, not cruelty-free. So uh, in terms of performance, it's, it's a rather gentle exfoliating toner, but it still does some nice exfoliation. Great for sensitive skin. It helps brighten skin up a bit. Uh, certainly geared towards sensitive skin, newbies to glycolic acid, uh, which is just fine. There's no issues with that. 
The nice thing is this is so gentle. Occasionally I can use this in a routine, the same routine with like my uh, Altrino, my Tretin. So that's a nice thing to be able to use them in the same routine. You're typically not supposed to, but for me, it's gentle enough that it works well that way. Um, so, uh, and then the other thing is it's a nice exfoliant for winter weather changing, whereas um, some exfoliants can be a little, a little bit harsh when the weather's changing. This one helped with the transition for me. And uh, the nice thing is for acne prone skin, there's no acnegenic ingredients of note. So it makes it even better. Uh, in terms of the price, this is the full size, 120 milliliters, four ounces, retails for about $14. So it's pretty affordable as well. Uh, in terms of the it factor, it's a decent, affordable, fragrance-free exfoliating toner. Not the most impressive product, but it's got a decent ingredient list. It's geared towards sensitive and acne prone skin, and it does a good job with that. Um, newbies to exfoliant. So it's a decent product overall. Um, for me, uh, using it during the winter, uh, fall transition worked just fine. If I use this one during the spring and summer, I probably won't be as impressed with it. But when the seasons are changing, it's a nice kind of uh, way to acclimate my skin to that. But otherwise, not the highest level. I mean, for the main uh, benefit of like glycolic acid uh, compared to other exfoliants is that it can help with collagen, firming skin, things like that. But it really needs to be an amount of 10% or higher. So you're not going to get all those benefits, but it's still a good one. So overall, with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 9. It's a pretty darn good product overall. So worth checking out. I think Good Molecules had a good Black Friday sale. I think some people either got a mini fridge, mini fridge or a free bottle of this. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, interested in hearing from you guys if you had a chance to try it yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are. So definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.